Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review on the Quo Back to Basics palettes. So I've had one of these for a year and I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a video. I thought I would do like a tutorial with it and I don't know, it just kind of... I, I have so many palettes, I think I just got distracted, um, but then I remembered it and I bought the Back to Basics matte palette which just came out for the Christmas holidays. I bought mine at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I'm not sure where else you can find Quo, but it is a, it's in Canada at Shoppers. Alright, so I'll first start off talking about the Back to Basics from last year. I'm not sure if they brought this one back as well this year. I'm not sure, but this palette was meant to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked palette, and I saw some like uh, blog post about it, how it is like actually they followed the colors and literally made it like the Naked palette. So you've got some like matte shades in there, you've got some with some shimmer. I really like this kind of reddish shade. So the pigmentation is really good. I have definitely used these quite a bit. Um, it's nice that you have those browns, you have a little bit more with like a red tone to them, and then at the end you have those really smoky uh, colors. That really nice kind of gray blue and this black with the sheen to it. So I was pretty impressed with this one and the brush it came with is kind of feels like a concealer brush, just a synthetic eyeshadow brush. And, uh, yeah, the packaging feels a little cheap. Like, this is, like, cardboard, and this plastic piece feels a little cheap to me. But this retailed for about $25. So, really great dupe compared to the Urban Decay Naked palette, which is, like, $60 in Canada. So, uh, it was definitely a great way to try the Naked palette. And it has um, 12 grams of product in the whole palette one gram per eyeshadow so you're definitely getting a good amount of product and yeah I, I did enjoy that one I do have so many eyeshadows and so many palettes I didn't use it as much as I probably should have but it was a good thing to try so then this year I bought the back to basics matte palette so I think they have matte and then they had another palette and I'm not sure if it was the same as last year or a different palette they came out with but really nice um, gold packaging once again you have the same amount of product in this one Ooh, that's tight. I didn't bend this one back before. So the brush you get in this one is much more fluffy. Like the first one was like a concealer brush. This one feels much more like an eyeshadow brush. So I do like that. And this is what this one looks like. So you've got a lot of brown, kind of light tones. A lot of these look very similar. Um, I really like these colors over here. We've got kind of that plum color, this deep brown, uh, a matte black. The pigmentation is a little disappointing. I feel like just randomly swatching some of these lighter shades, they're a little bit more like powdery, like when you pick up a bit too much. Um, they just don't apply as well and they look very similar, which is one of the problems I had with the Naked 3 palette was that from Urban Decay, like all the light pink shades, like they kind of turn out the same unless you really like try with a base to make them look different. Um, even this light purple is not very pigmented. The plum and brown and black are quite pigmented, but it is really weird. I don't know if you can see how it sits. It's like really soft and I don't know. I just like you can definitely get quite a bit of fallout with this and I don't know, I don't think they did the matte eyeshadows as well. So that's probably why I like the other palette more because the shimmery shades, they actually did show up really true to the pan and I was pretty disappointed actually with the second one. But the first one, as you can see, like almost all of these have that sheen to them. They're not matte, so it's a lot easier to work with this one, I would say. So. They're an interesting thing to try for $25. They could be a good gift idea uh, for maybe a beginner, but um, the one from this year, I I don't know if I still have the receipt, but I would like to return it because it's really not something I'm going to reach for every day. And it just made me think of the Nude Tude palette from The Bomb, which has very similar colors. Like over here you have like the brown, the plum, and the black. You've got some light shades, but you can do so much more with this. and the pigmentation is just really really nice on these. It's it's just very different when you compare one to the other. I prefer these eyeshadows a lot more and you can do kind of bronze looks, pink looks, 
taupey looks so I feel like this one just gives you a lot more options and this retails for 25 to 30 dollars so you're paying about the same I would definitely recommend these ones over that one this one comes with 11.8 grams so pretty much the same amount of product for pretty much the same price I would definitely pick this one over definitely the palette from this year and maybe even over the one from last year so I hope this review was helpful thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video